On to race number five then, 1200 metre class four contest, which also makes up the uh, first leg of the triple trio with a bonus as well, headed by Farshad. Drops in class, drops in trip as well. Jolly Convergence uh, was uh, third last time out behind Aurora Pegasus, three-time course and distance winner. King's Trooper, uh, beaten favourite, well beaten last time as well. Regency Poet makes his uh, debut. Jintoki, Barry 11, likes to roll forward though. Little Thunder placed in his last two starts. Maboob uh, rolled forward in his last start as well. Barrier 9 for him and Planet Nakoni. Lightly race, just the five starts, but yet to hit the frame as yet. As far as Chunk is concerned, Farshad, Speedy Missile and Planet Nakoni have been up at Chunk Fro. All right, the speed of this race expected to be good. Now, who leads is questionable, whether it be Jintoki or Maboob. Planet Nakoni's a horse with some pace. King's Trooper, does he rush through? Farshad's not, it's not out of his repertoire either to jump and go forward from barrier number eight. Um, I got sort of caught up in this speed map a little bit. I'm not sure what's going to happen because I think King's Trooper holds a key to the way it might unfold eventually. Here is uh, the downgrade of Farshad. He's the grey closest to us. He is a wayward character, as you said, Brad. Mm. He can play up a lot and uh, he's hard to hold. But he's going well and he's downgraded. His last uh, start was pretty good. Uh, Regency Poet is the first starter. He's a 1,208 pounds Regency Poet. He's had four trials and uh, he goes nice. You can see in his gallop here, Chad Schofield will take them out with um, Manfred Mann. And Little Thunder, the next one we're going to have a look at. Uh, Sylvester de Souza aboard him. He's got a bit of draw now. He drew 12 last time, but still ran pretty well, I thought, behind Very Rich Man last start. All right, we'll have a look at Regency Poet of the Trials uh, very shortly. This is the first leg of the TT. 1.4 million goes into the pot. So we're looking at a dividend in the region of $4 million for the Triple Trio players. So jackpots in the six up and the Triple Trio. Uh, this is Farshad's uh, last time out here at Happy Valley over the 1650. Now he's um, third across the line on this occasion. Is this the race he got relegated in down to fourth though? Um, no. No. No, but he did run third behind High Rev. And High Rev, who takes off here, is obviously a high class horse, as we know. And it was still a good run from um, Farshad. Former mm. German French galloper who's taken a long time to settle in here. He has ability. Yeah. Um, there was a run from him, um, that fourth behind Ballistic King as well, was a good effort. And that race there was 16.50, stuck on well. I haven't got him in the tips, but he could win this. Mm. Yeah, it was a couple of starts back, that uh, demotion, wasn't it, mm. behind Ballistic King. All right, that's uh, Farshad. What about King's Trooper? Um, pretty impressive, two starts back, beaten favourite last time. Let's get the thoughts on Joe Moreira. Joe, King's Trooper, you won on him two starts ago. What happened last time? <laughs> well, he definitely didn't bring his very best. Um, there was a few excuses. He jumped a little bit better than what he did the start before. And he ended up being not having a covered and being a little bit closer than what he, he's been the start before. So I think those two factors may have got his tools at the end, at the end of the race, and he wasn't really able to bring his very best. You've ridden him at the trial since then. Did he feel back to his best that morning? He definitely did. And he's always been a very good track worker, including at his trials. Uh, his last trial, he he'd done very much what he's done the trial before he wins, two starts ago. And obviously, uh, based on, on the trial that he, the feeling he gave me on the trial the other day, I, I'm going to the race with plenty of confidence. As we all know, Happy Valley uh, is a track which Gates plays a big big role and he's got a good gate, so hopefully he jumps well again, but I'm likely to be giving him a better chance, being riding him a little bit colder as I did the start before to win, and hopefully he brings the, the best of himself at this time. Mentally, is he still learning about racing? He's definitely learning, he's, he's quite far back still. Uh, I can't say he's been consistent, but I know he's got plenty of ability on himself and if he, if he brings his A game, I'm quite confident that he's a winnable, winnable chance. And the state was absolutely flying as well. Ricky Yu, Joe Moreira on board then from Barrier 3 with King's Trooper. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Little Thunder next. Um, really has progressed, only just four starts now, placed on his last two. This was the run, I thought, of a horse that's ready to win. Very rich man, just uh, outstouched him to the wire. He sort of loomed up here um, at his second run at the Valley and his third run this prep. But he had worked from barrier 12, 
just petered out final stages, but I think that'll top him off beautifully for this event. Yeah, I agree as well. Um, from barrier seven, I think he'd be a little bit closer. Mm. OK, that's Little Thunder, Tony Miller to Revesta de Sosa. Here's the debutante, Regency Poet, under Zach Purton, who's ridden him, I think, in three of his four trials. Um, gets a look round Happy Valley, I think, we find one of your horses, Paul, El Jefe. Yes, he, f he won this trial. Um, this is an interesting galloper, Regency Poet. I think he's well worth including here. You can see Zach just niggling a little bit. I like his action. He's um, done that pretty comfortably. He is a chance in this, and he may be even too good for them, possibly. Yeah, I didn't put him in in the end, but I, I did contemplate it. He is, he is going well in the mornings. Mm. OK, he's at what, 12 and 6.2 at the moment. Spicy really is the favourite. Yeah, um, yeah, I haven't got him in my God numbers. smacked about that one. Well, he's, had a, he's been 100 to 1 his last three starts. Uh, little Thunder on top for me, as Brett said, I think he's ready to win. Uh, barrier 70 can sit a little bit closer. King's Trooper now... Two starts ago, we beat Gift of Lifeline, who's come out and won uh, again. Last time we saw that, we heard from Joe. It'll be interesting to see what the tactics are, if they do ride him a little bit colder from three. He, he could blow them away, but he's unreliable. So I've got him in there for second, Farshad for third, and Maboob for fourth. Eight, four, one, ten. Yep, I'm with Paul. I think number eight uh, is a good each-way chance in this race, Little Thunder. I think Regency Poets, definite inclusion. King's Trooper. As Paul said, he beat Gift of Lifeline two back. For me, there's, there might be a breathing issue there um, or a wind problem by the looks of it because when he's put under pressure early, he can't find, he loses balance and he just fades out. Either that or it's his endeavour mentally. But as Joe said, riding, riding impatiently might be better for King's Trooper. We know it's there, it's just extracting it when he's comfortable uh, internally. Maybe uh, the patience part will be the key or at least help. Uh, Maboob, I've got in for fourth, but eight, six, four, ten. I'm happy to go with Little Thunder each way in this race because I think there's a lot of ifs and buts about a few, but for me, he should go close. Yeah, I'll stick with King's Troop. I wouldn't want a short price about him, but Spicy, no. really, very interesting. First up for the season, one trial coming in at Happy Valley. Um, beat a couple of home. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, money talks all languages, as we know. So we'll get to Jenny's report and uh, go from there. All right, OK, that's race number five, first leg of the TT.